Hello, hello everyone, and welcome on back to the channel. In today's tutorial video, I am going to be covering these four little builds you can see spread out behind me that I think work as a brilliant starter farm kit that you'll be able to construct in your own worlds. The main build we'll be doing here is this wonderful cow pen that has a big yard for your cows to enjoy, a tiny little stall for you to keep some pigs and an auto composter system built in which I really, really love. There's this nice spot for the cows to keep their hay a few ways in and out of this shed enclosure and back out the front. That is what we're going to be spending most of our time covering today. After that, we'll be looking at its buddy build. This is the little farm work shed, which is basically exactly the same build, downsized, made a bit smaller and created. So you've got a little sleeping, cooking and workstation wherever your farm area is, which I think these two go so, so well together. I've also brought in a tiny well build and a little fire pit that I will be tacking on at the end just so that you're able to create a space just like this one that really feels like a full and lively farm area. I think this looks so so lovely and I'm so excited to show you how to build them. All right, so kicking things off here with our cow shed build, we are gonna start laying down our pillars. So grabbing our spruce log, we're gonna place one and then go across three. This spot here is gonna be our doorway. And then one, two, three, another pillar. One, two, three, this way, another pillar. A gap of two, one more. One, two, three, and one more. So then we come over here and just go across another three another three again just like this and then matching up with what we did on the other side over here a gap of three a gap of two and we should have something looking just like that now we are also going to bring in our pillars in the middle so just at the cross sections of these ones in through here and then coming around back to the front we're going to start raising up our pillars so all of these ones here we're going to take them up by five for a total of six one two three four five and that'll be six total right there beautiful and bringing all of these up to match they are all just going to be six high as well and then all these ones here in the middle are going to be five high total so one two three four upwards just like that the same thing for all of these ones and then these ones along this back side are going to be four high so bringing them up three bringing all of these up just like that and this is the basic shape for our cow shed build next we're gonna get straight into building this little doorway so coming in here with some spruce stairs count up one two three four and on that fourth one, we're just going to place two upside down stairs like that. And then using some spruce trap doors, just frame the doorway just like that, which I think is just wonderful. Then we're going to grab some stripped spruce log and some spruce stairs, as well as some spruce planks for our wall palette, filling in our walls all the way around and just scattering them about nothing too crazy just like that here coming in along here as well we're gonna do something pretty similar just here and then we're gonna leave a gap right here on the third one up because it's gonna be our fence window and then coming in here again maybe just something like this nothing too crazy there creating a front face for our build looking something just like this coming around the back here doing the same thing this exact same height here is going to be our spruce fence window and we're just going to start bringing in a little bit more of this detail maybe like that that's a bit cute this backside one here do whatever you would like with just like that it's just filling that in and then coming across here we're gonna have another window on the third level up and just keep going around filling all of this in and bang and bang all the way around and just continuing to repeat that this side here is also gonna have that same height window as well as this one so these windows will come all the way around and then we can just kind of mirror our walling on that side but we don't have the door here we're just continuing to do something like this nothing 
too crazy about it. Looking really, really cute. Beautiful. So we're starting to bring in this texture all the way around, which I think looks so, so cute. And then coming around to this main front side where we will be extending our cow shed later, we're going to be bringing in a bit of a sloped tier with our windows. So on that third one up for this first slot, we're just going to bring our fence across and then we're going to move it up one. So it's on this fourth block high in this middle section and then up one again so it's on the fifth one in this far section so we have this lovely slope for our little fence windows and then coming in here with some upside down spruce stairs and some spruce doors facing back like this this is going to be our little doorway one of the ways we can get out here into the yard for our animals and then just continuing to repeat that same little bit of fence texture pattern from before just like that i think that's really really nice and then of course just continue continuing to repeat that all the way through. And then up here we are going to be doing something a little different on this side again because this inner area is going to be for our cows and we're going to give them a little bit of an overhang here. We're going to count up three and on this third one we're going to put our stairs. So it is going to be a door that is one block lower than our four high one over there. And the same technique with the spruce trap doors. We're just going to close in this little overhang and then do our wall detail as we have been doing. And then to bring out our overhang, we're going to need some spruce slabs. And coming up here above where these stairs are, we're just going to bring five spruce trap doors across just like that. Oh, spruce slabs I mean and then five spruce trap doors in front of it like that then getting some spruce fence gates we're gonna place one here three across here leaving the corners and then one here again then grabbing our fence we're gonna connect those up and bring that all the way down to the ground to create this tiny little covering for our cows and already this is looking so so nice we are just going to bring in some interior walls here to create our slot for our auto composter while we're at it so it is just exactly the same mottled pattern and just lining it up block wise with what we've done on those side ones so that is looking really really cute we could even so that block is a stair so that means this one could be a stair on the inside here and this one could be too. Just bringing in that little bit of extra texture. Same thing over here as well. We are just gonna be bringing in a bit more of that lovely, lovely detail. So something just like that over here as well. Oh, that one is a block, so we could bring this in like that. This one is a block, so we can bring it in like that. I'm not too worried about these two inner ones for our stair detail because this space is going to be filled by our auto composter. And then also coming around here to where all our windows are with our spruce stairs, any spruce plank blocks you see along our window lines, we're just going to turn into stairs like that so we get a little bit of that detail here on the inside as well. All right, and now with this place looking something like that, we are ready to move on to doing up our roof. So for the roof we're going to be putting onto this build, we are going to be using cobblestone slabs, mossy cobblestone slabs, andesite slabs, and stone slabs for our little outer frame. And coming in here along the back first off, just start switching through and alternating these ones around in a little pattern something like this. So we're going one here on this lower section along the back, across, up one, across, across, up, across, across again, and then up on top of that, across, across, and this is also an up, so it's gotta be a cobble, across, across, up, just like that to create this little slope along the front it should be looking something like this and then rotating through our little palette all the way across just something like that and then just repeating that little slope over here on this side as well and then coming in along the back side and just going through our texture palette again and bringing these ones to meet up there we are, something just like that. And now we have this really lovely roof framed out on our build. Next up, we're gonna need a little bit of dark oak. 
So the first stage of getting this little roof done is gonna be coming in with our dark oak slabs and just connecting up everything we have here, filling in all of this space just like that. And of course you can fill in these spots as well. But for this one right here, because we are gonna wanna be able to open a chest right here, you can leave these as slabs or you can bring in some stairs just like this so that we'll be able to have a chest that can open right here on this layer and then bringing the rest of these across to fill in all of that space and continuing to bring these across. And then with it looking just like this, we're gonna come in again with our slabs and start just breaking up this roof. Maybe something just like that, nothing too fancy and continuing in a similar pattern all the way along. Something just like that is really, really lovely. Then for a little bit of extra detail on top of this roof, grab a tiny bit of dark oak trapdoors and the smallest splash of spruce trapdoor. And we're just gonna start coming in through and adding a little bit of all of this into some of our spots here on the roof. And there you have it. That is our roof more or less done up Next up, let's start mapping out our little cow pen. So this one is designed to be kind of organic, so feel free to do this any way you like. But our palette for this pen is the same as our roof palette was. It's cobble, andesite, mossy cobble, and stone. And we're just gonna start bringing this in as we go across. So we're gonna do a one right here next to this front pillar, out one and then across three out one more just like this and then we're gonna bring in two gates here which is gonna be a great way of getting animals in and out of the pasture and then one more here and then going back one we're gonna go across another three and then coming in here it's a one a five a two a two a turn another two And then all the way across here, it is just another five. And then one just in here on the corner, just like that for this lovely little kind of organically shaped cow pen. Then grabbing blocks and a few slabs, we're just gonna start bringing this up so that animals won't actually be able to escape here. So starting with a slab right here, however you'd like it to be, and then coming in with a block and just starting to alternate through those super super simple stuff so then your cow pen will be looking something just like this where we have alternated our blocks and slabs all the way along that top edge so we have this wonderful little enclosure to keep our cows in all right next up we are going to be adding in our floor all the way through here so we are just going to start cutting out all the floor in this area here and now that we are ready to go, our floor palette is mainly dark oak, a splash of spruce logs, a little bit of spruce planks, some coarse dirt, and some grass path. The soul soil and the podzol are entirely optional little pieces I use basically for this pig enclosure area on that first left spot. So just starting to bring these in, nothing too crazy about this. We're just going to start scattering them all the way through. All right, and a little bit of coarse dirt little bit of the spruce planks as well of course and then just coming in again with our logs all right and then i am just gonna bring a little splash of our soul soil here into this area and a little bit of that podzol as well so that our pigs will have a nice enclosure. Then grabbing some spruce fence and spruce fence gate, we're gonna start adding our interior details in here. Firstly, by just bringing them in like this so you've got somewhere to pop a few little pigs. Then over here as well, two fences and a gate to section off this cow area from our main area. 
All right, now for a few little details. Over here in this pig's area, we're gonna be giving them a little water trough with a spruce block floor. Here in this corner with just two spruce trapdoors there to wall it in and placing our water right there. We're also gonna give them a little bit of food with one hay bale right there and two bits of yellow carpet there with it just to accent it and make it pop that bit more. That is our pig's basically taken care of. Now we just have to place a lantern and boom, our pigs will be ready and all set up to go right there in that slot. Next up is gonna be our auto composter design, which this one does go a bit heavier on the hoppers than the bare minimum, just to make it so it looks and fits really nicely here into this area. But first we're going to grab our four chests and bring two in right up here for our input double chest and two in down here at the bottom for our output of bone meal. Next up, our two hoppers first off are gonna go here on the bottom facing into this chest just like that. Then we're gonna need two composters on top of those and we're going to need two hoppers facing into them and then two hoppers facing into those hoppers from underneath this top chest. So something just like that and then bringing in a little bit of spruce stair here and a spruce trapdoor and an oak trapdoor just to close that in and make it look a little bit special. Then pop a lantern down here in the bottom and that part is all done. Next, the cows. All right, so in here, we're gonna grab some hay bales and create a little hay stockpile here in this back corner. And then as well, just switching up the way a few of them are facing to make it something a little bit different. There we are, I think that's rather nice. And we could even add a few just into the floor here. And then going in again, just with our carpet, something just like that. And we have a wonderful little hay bale pile there in the back. Coming out into the enclosure, we're also gonna add a water trough for our cows, bringing some spruce trapdoors just like this here into this corner where it's kind of lined up so it's got one block between this one block section of the wall and then it is right here with spruce planks on the floor as well and then just adding in our water so our cows have somewhere to drink. Then we're gonna just do another little bit of hay detailing. So something just like this I think will be really really cute bringing in a little bit of our carpet, something like that, and then bringing in a spruce fence and a lantern right there next to our door. We should also pop a lantern right in here to make sure that stays lit up. And then coming around here with some more hay, we're just gonna go something like this, I think will be really rather cute. And of course, just bringing in our hay detail once more, Feel free to add as much or as little around as you want. Maybe a lantern on top of that hay bale as well. Maybe a lantern just here on this one and one over here on this one too to make sure everything stays well lit. And then we're just gonna do a little bit of groundwork, getting our shovel or of course placing your path block. We're just gonna bring this one around really scattered like that to connect up these two kind of main spots of this front gate and under our awning where of course you'll be able to start scattering the path around coming out of that area and scattering it around coming out from there as well then grabbing some coarse dirt we are just gonna bring that one in to complement what we've done with our path block and then scattering a little extra bit of it around as well you could even bring in it right under the doors, maybe a little spruce block there as well. So your cow yard will be looking something like this. And we are almost done with this build. One final detail to add. And by one final detail, I meant two. We're just gonna come along in front of this and start adding a little bit of extra wall action and detail right along in front of our build here. If we add it to the inner edges, we risk letting animals get out, so we're not too worried about that. But just for that little bit of extra detail from the outside, I think this adds quite a lot. 
So something just like that looks really, really lovely. And then last of all, grabbing some grass and some ferns, we're just gonna scatter that through our cow yard. And there you have it. Of course, you can bring the coarse dirt through and start adding that into any external paths you have as well. And there you have it. Your little cow shed build is done and looking absolutely wonderful. Next, I think we launch straight into its buddy build, the little work shed. Quickly whipping up this buddy build that is the perfect accompaniment for your wonderful new animal shed. We're just gonna come straight in with our spruce logs once more. We're gonna go one, across three, one, across five, one, across three, one. And we have this wonderful little square. Then on this front side, go up three for a total of four, up three for a total of four. Our door is just gonna be here. And then on the back side, up two for a total of three and up two for a total of three. Then we are gonna immediately just start bringing in that exact same pattern from before for our little doorway here. Leaving a gap on this third level up for some spruce fence action. And then continuing to repeat our wonderful pattern just like this. And then we're gonna be doing this little gap here as our doorway. So on this third one up, bringing in an upside down facing this way and an upside down spruce stair facing that way for this tiny little doorway. Again, with the spruce trap door technique, just to finish that one off. And that is our front face of the build already done. And then coming in onto the second side here, grabbing our spruce fence, we are gonna be bringing in another window, but on the second block up instead of that third one. And then we are just gonna stick straight in with repeating our already existing little texture pattern here for this build. Something just like that. I even swap these ones around. So it's looking like that. This one is quite decrepit, so feel free to go a bit crazy on your spruce stairs. And then we are just going to be filling in these other segments of the build. So just like that here, could even do something like that. And then coming around to the back, we are just gonna be filling it in exactly the same. So we've got something just like that. Then bringing in these spruce stairs just to cover up any gaps that would be left by our upside down stairs right there. And then we're gonna get stuck into the roof here. All right, so the roof on our work shed is just the same as it was over on our cow pen. We've got our mossy cobble, our cobble, our andesite, and our stone slabs ready to go here and bringing them in onto this back side of the build. We are just going to start mottling them all the way through just like that and then bringing them up in much the same pattern as it was on the other build. So doing our one on that upper half at the bottom across 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 up and you'll never guess across across and up just like that. Really really simple stuff and then bringing it all the way across just like that, beautiful. And then connecting these ones up just the same way. And you should have something looking just like that. Now, before I forget, let's bring in a little bit of lantern action here on the corners of this roof because I just think that is really so, so cute. And then grabbing our dark oak palette, let's fill in this roof. Doing exactly what we did on the other build once more, we're grabbing our dark oak slabs and just bringing this all the way across to connect these ones up. But again, we've got that exposed spruce, which is not a worry because we are actually gonna be bringing this roof up basically all the way, something just like that. Maybe even all of it except one could be quite cute. I think that's really, really nice. And then just building this one up, creating a little bit of a nice foundation here. Oh, these trapdoors work on this level. Okay, awesome. So then starting to just bring these ones in, nothing too crazy. And then of course we can swap a few of them out 
for that little splash of our spruce trapdoor. And we can even bring in a little bit of the dark oak trapdoor action on the top right there, just like that. So there we have it, a wonderful mottled little roof and a gorgeous little work shed exterior done. Now we're just gonna do up our interior. And coming in with our floor palette first of all, you're welcome to use just the same floor palette as we used in the cow shed, or what I'm doing here is dark oak planks, coarse dirt, podzole, and some spruce planks. And we're just gonna knock out everything we have here for the floor and start bringing in a little bit of action here with these wonderful little bits and pieces. Just like that, that is looking super duper cute. And then we're gonna start bringing in our details. So one smoker right here next to the door is super cute with a little cobblestone wall on top and a dead bush planted on the podzol right there next to it. And then coming in over here, we could do a little workbench, something just like that. And then what I am thinking is a dark oak fence right there on that stair, spruce sign here on the crafting table, spruce trap door there on this other dark oak piece, and then maybe a flower pot on top, a little stone cutter and a grindstone facing that way just like that here for our workbench. And then over in this corner, we are gonna be bringing in a little bunk bed. We've got a brown bed right there, maybe a dark oak trapdoor and a spruce trapdoor here on the end like this. And then a dark oak slab and a dark oak trapdoor right there to create this wonderful little shape. And a green bed right there on top with a spruce sign just there. And that is our wonderful little interior here done, except for maybe a light. So just grabbing a lantern as well, feel free to pop that anywhere, maybe right there on the floor would be a bit cute, or you could hang it from somewhere here above your workstation. And that is our little work shed buddy build all done, which is super, super cute. Next, going a little bit into super speed mode, we are gonna be whipping up that little well we have over there. So first, we're just gonna grab our blocks. We've got a little bit of cobblestone, mossy cobblestone, cracked stone bricks, and stone bricks. And we're just gonna start bringing them around in a little shape, just like this. Something like that. And then we've got our stairs and we're just gonna also bring these ones around. Same exact block palette basically. Maybe swap these ones out. So we have a base just like that for our well. And then we're gonna need some walls. So I've got here stone brick walls, andesite walls, cobblestone walls, and mossy cobble walls. And we are just gonna start bringing these ones all the way around as well just like that on top of all our blocks. Next with some spruce fence, we're going up two on every single wall and then popping a spruce fence gate right in between every set of fences, just like that. Really, really cute. Next, we're gonna pop a roof on this tiny little well. So grabbing some dark oak trap doors, dark oak slabs and dark oak stairs, we're gonna pop two just like this in each corner. And then with our slabs and stairs, we're going slab, stair, slab along the top, oh, along the top of our fence and gates, just like that. Then coming in here in the middle, we can fill this all in with slabs to start off with. And then just making this little star in the center like that and popping some dark oak trap doors in each of these corners. And that is the roof of our little well all done. And then what we can do is start, of course, digging down and bringing in our overall well texturing and feel. Now, because this is super flat, I can only go down so far, but feel free to take this down as far as you'd like in your own worlds. And then with just our blocks of stone brick, andesite, cobble, mossy cobble, and cracked stone brick, we are gonna start mottling those ones all the way around which down in this lower section, I do like to go a bit heavier on the mossy cobble because this is going to all be underwater. So you'll be left with something just like this. And then of course, filling in our water, which doesn't have to be all the way at the bottom. I would usually not do it at the very bottom block, but it is just our height that makes me need to do that here. And then grabbing a chain and bringing it down from that upper roof. We could even go up a block there just like that, or even something just like that I think is really rather cute. 
and then bringing it down as far as you'd like this one to go. For me, I'm just gonna bring it down so it's almost touching the water right there and popping some water there in that cauldron at the bottom so it is looking something like that. And then just a few final touches, we are gonna bring in some dark oak trapdoors here on this center bit of the star for that extra inner detail and we're gonna bring up a ladder from the water level to the top in case we ever fall in so it's much easier to get back out again. And that is our little well build all done. All right, and the last addition to our tiny little set is gonna be our fire pit. So we're gonna dig a little three by three square just like this, which will be where our fire is going and bringing in a piece of nether rack in the center for our main flame and then some stone and a site and cobblestone blocks just something like this to create a little base around there for our fire grabbing our flint and steel light a fire there in the middle on the nether rack and then with four campfires we're just gonna place them all the way around that fire like that next grabbing our stairs we've got stone cobble and andesite as well we are just gonna start bringing in a little bit of that glorious stair action all the way around in these spots here and then you have something like that as the base for your fire pit and then just a few details here on this one to really amp it up going out one block from the stairs of our fire pit here on this line we're gonna bring in some logs to sit on just like that so three logs lying sideways like this and repeating that all the way around so we have a seat on every side or if you want to leave one for a main path and just have it something like that that is perfectly fine as well but there we are something like that next with a little bit of brown carpet and gray carpet we are gonna make these a bit more comfortable to sit on for whoever is coming by the fire and then as well bringing in a little bit of that carpet action all the way around just like that that is so so cute and then last a tiny bit of terrain detailing we can bring in a little bit of our path all the way around to show that the fire pit gets a quite Quite a lot of traffic people come by here pretty frequently just to enjoy the fire of a night time really super cute simple stuff there we are something just like that and repeating that with a little mix in of our coarse dirt to accent our path block so then you have something just like this and we're gonna grab some grass and some ferns and just start bringing that in around the back of our logs to show that that front spot of the logs is our main area of thoroughfare and also just bringing some through all the way around. And there you are, that is our fire pit all done. And we are all done with today's tutorials. I really, really hope you enjoyed this little set of builds as much as I did. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and following along with them. And I cannot wait to see you create your own cozy little farming areas just like this one, where you're able to sleep and craft in your work shed, look after your animals, get water from your well to take care of everything, stay hydrated, and of course, sit down next to the fire after a hard day's work and enjoy what you've created. Again, thank you so, so much for coming along and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.